Greetings and welcome. In this video, I will share with you how to shade with Desmos. So what you see on this screen is the design we created when we explained how to design an object on Desmos. So here is the mountain, it's in purple. And what we'd like to do is shade the mountain so it looks more like a mountain. So in order to do this, we are going to go to the folder that says Shades and click on Enter. The mountain is purple, which means that we are shading the purple graph. The purple graph, graph is named h of x, so we'll say that we want the y values to be less than h of x. And you'll see what happens. Magic. <laughs> so as you can see in here, the function is highlighted or it's shaded, we say, below the curve because we chose only the y values that were less than the f of x. And all the f of x values are on the curve. So two little things we need to actually fix in here. Number one, the color purple. I've never remember seeing a purple mountain, but you never know. <laughs> so I'm going to try all the colors because I want to play with it. Uh, why not? So here goes a red mountain. Um, not really. We don't want fire. And blue mountain. Hmm. Green mountain. That means it's spring covered in trees, but... And then here is autumn, purple, we already discussed. I'm going to leave it to gray, okay? Another thing that I notice here is that the mountain goes deep down under the waters. And I don't want to show this part of the uh, graph. So what I'm going to do is limit the range of this function to bigger than zero. So I'm going to click on uh, done for the color. And I'm going to go back to my equation, my inequality to be more precise. And I would limit the y values to greater than zero. So I'll start zero and then bigger than. And as you can see now, the graph is uh, shaded only where the mountain is. So that's what I wanted. And next, what I want to do is take care of this grassy area. So the green graph, practically you do the same thing. So we have GX. And I'm going to show this one more time uh, and press enter. And uh, we have the y values, which we want to be less than gx. Now, uh, because I had experience with the graph of the, um, uh, the shade of the mountain, the shading of the mountain, what I'm going to do also is set the uh, range to become, uh, I mean, to be bigger than zero. So now I have only this portion of the graph shaded. And uh, one last problem I want to fix in here is the color of the graph. So I will click on that engine button so that I can access the colors and I will change this to green. And here we go. We got the uh, grassy area here in green. Next thing that we want to do is shade the waves. So I'm going to click done so I get out of here and I want to shade the waves to be blue. Now, remember how uh, initially we had all these functions named, the trig functions named f of x. So you got to change the name of the function because when you shade a function, every function must have uh, a certain, um, a, a unique name, okay? So that um, the Desmos will understand exactly which one of the f of x functions you want it to uh, shade. So uh, I'm going to say that I want the values of y to be between the first graph, the kx, and the last graph, mx. And notice that I only changed the k and the m, the first and the last um, a name of uh, the function. So the name of the first and the name of the last. And I just remember that I have to continue or keep on clicking save so that my graph is saved and all the changes. So I want the y values to be between k of x and mx. So I'll go back to the shades folders. I'll press enter and I'm going to ask the function to be above m of x. So I will start by typing mx and then less than and then we are dealing with y values and then less than and then kx. Now the names that you choose for your functions obviously don't matter, right? As long as they are unique to each and every graph. And I definitely don't want to swim in red water. So I will save this 
and I will click on the engine button here again and I will change the color to blue. And here we go, we got the waves in blue. And uh, click done and then click save. Now, if you wanna quickly access, or if you wanna stop working and quickly access your work uh, afterwards, another thing that you may want to do is uh, click on this button, the arrow, that will help you uh, share the link, the Desmos link of your graph, so the whole work. So when you click on this, then you will see that uh, you have the option of sharing the link, and what you want to do is click on copy which means that once you click on copy, this is saved and you can uh, show this or email this to your teacher to take a look at it or email it to yourself so you have your work saved somewhere. And uh, this is how we shade the graphs on Desmos. I hope you found the instructions helpful and thank you for listening. Bye for now.